friends welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before I'm Erin and for today's video we're doing it a little bit differently because I am going to be behind the camera and today I am going to show you my Lemmix spooky town pieces that I have now as you can see I already took this one out of the box because I decided to set up my village and then I totally forgot I was gonna make a video about it so since I look like a hot mess I'll be staying behind the camera today but anyway, just to get things started off, I have a whole bunch of Lemmix Spooky Town pieces and usually I put them onto a table to display. My table that I normally use is housing what is left of my two fish tanks. Well, at least part of what is left because the rest of what is left is in that container right there because my fish tank currently looks like this. Thanks, Hurricane Florence. So, yeah. Anyway, let's jump into it. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you from the Lemmick Spooky Town Village is this one. It is the Bloody Belfry. That's what it, the box looks like. And then this one has motion and sound to it. So here is what it looks like when it is not lit up and moving. And I'll show you in just a second what it looks like when it is lit up. But as you can see, these pieces have a lot of detail to them. Now this one originally retailed for $100 when I got it, um, but I never pay full price for them. I always wait for them to be on sale at Michael's. And in fact, I didn't pay anything for this one because my mom bought it for me. She usually buys me one piece a year, so. But I think she got it for half off. All right, I will plug it in and I'll show you what it looks like when it's plugged in. All right, as you can see in the background over here, I have a DJ strip. I really recommend getting one of these for if you're gonna set up a village like this, just because it's easy, because the plugs on the back look like this, so you can fit more, or you can get a surge protector that has them side by side as opposed to all in a row, just because the voltage packs kind of take up a lot of room. Now I have more than eight of these, so I end up fixing it so I have a surge protector connected to this as well. But this is what the Bloody Belfry looks like when it's running. So there's that one and we'll move on to the next one. All right, so the next one that I have is Lilith's Creepy Dollhouse. And this one originally retailed for $79.99, so $80. And this one just lights up and makes sound. There's no movement, but this is one of my favorites. Just because of the detail that's in it, it's going to be a little bit easier to show you the detail on the box. But that's what the box looks like, and now I'll take it out of the box. Okay, so here's what the dollhouse looks like. You can see some of the details that are on it. Now this one, if you notice, one of the little porch lights on it is a little crooked. That's because these things are extremely delicate and when I first got this, I pulled it out of the box and one of those fell off. So I had to glue it back on. Um, here's what the side looks like. And then this is what it sounds and looks like when you turn it on. So yeah, definitely a more creepy one, but we will move on to the next. Okay, so the next one that we have up is the Mad Pumpkin Patch. This is what the box looks like. It originally retailed for $104.99. And this is another one of my favorites, but who am I trying to kid? Most of them are my favorite. Anyway, I will take it out of the box so you can see what it looks like. So this is what the Mad Pumpkin Patch looks like when it's not lit up. You can see all the pumpkins and stuff. Zoom in so you can see a little bit more of the detail. And if you notice the rake on that guy is a little bit off. That's because like I said, these things are extremely fragile and I broke it last year. But I fixed it so all is well in the world. This is what it looks like on. Your own 
So this one is one of my older pieces. It's the Blood Bank. And this one, when I first got it, it was originally $49.99. So as you can see, they've definitely gone up in price over the years. You'll see when I turn this one on, this one has a lot of motor noise because I think that the motor that makes the stuff go round is actually burning out in it. So I don't turn this one on a lot, but I will for this video. I like the way it looks on the outside anyway, so no worries there. But I will show you what it looks like unboxed. Okay, so I kind of had to do a little bit of surgery on this one, but it's together now. This is what the blood bank looks like. Remember how I told you these things are fragile? Yeah, well, first of all, I have to glue this back on because I broke that. And while I was opening the box for this, I accidentally bumped the bat off of there. So I'm going to have to glue that back on. But anyway, this is what it looks like not lit up. This is what it looks like lit up. Remember I said you can kind of hear the motor going on this one a lot. So I don't usually turn it on very much, but this is what it looks like. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so next up we have the Zombie Fortress. This is what the box looks like. This one's pretty big. I believe that this was a, yeah, it's a Michaels exclusive, so they only had this one at Michaels. It originally retailed for $109.99. This is what the Zombie Fortress looks like outside of the box. I'll show you some of the details here. It says warning, zombie crossing. It's got the people, a little nuclear balloon, and a thing that says SOS, and over here it says help. So I will turn this on. So here's what it looks like on. I suppose I should probably help the people in the basket here because this is not hanging right. That's what it looks like. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so up next we have Creepy Crawly's Pet Sitting, and this one was $54.99. All this one does is it lights up, and I think it takes batteries, so hopefully I have batteries for it. We shall see. This is kind of like Christmas. I forgot I had this one. So that's what the box looks like. So this is what Creepy Crawly's Pet Sitting looks like, not lit up. Now you can either use batteries or an AC adapter on this. I don't have batteries, so I just borrowed one of the adapter things from the dollhouse. So you can see what this one looks like lit up too. But the detail on these is pretty amazing. You can see the chain going from the, I think it's, yeah, it's a two-headed dog. There's like bones there too. Little dragon. So that's what that looks like. Turn it on so you can see what it looks like lit up. And then it just lights up like any other kind of village house does. So up next we have the Broken Skull Bar. This one retailed originally for $79.99. Let's take a look at it. All right, so this is the Broken Skull Bar, not lit up. See, it says Wicked Spirits and Grog. This one just lights up and makes noise. So that is what that one looks like. Let's move on to the next one. So this is one of the original pieces that I got from Spooky Town. This is the Witch's Lair. Now, there are some pieces that don't work on this one, but it's just so old that through moving quite a few times, it probably got damaged that way. But when I bought this, this one was originally $50. 
And this one, according to the box down at the bottom, is from 2004, so it's, it's pretty darn old. But I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here is the Witch's Lair while it's off. This is one of my favorites, even though it doesn't work. As you can see, I pulled the little witch out of the top. She's kind of supposed to pop out of there. And then this witch down here, I don't know if you can really see her or not. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus on her. There we go, that witch right there. She's supposed to go back and forth, but she doesn't. But that witch up there, she still goes around. Let's see what it looks like on. I guess the middle one is still working. Either that or I just made it work by pulling it back. So up next is the most boring piece in the collection and it doesn't actually go with my village when I put it up. I end up putting it on a different table. This is the Franklin residence and again this is one of my oldest pieces it's from 2004 and it costs $25 the only thing it does is it lights up it's just a cute little village house definitely doesn't really tie in with the other stuff because this one is more cutesy so let's see it out of the box so this is what the Franklin residence looks like not lit up so you can see there's like little ghosts hanging there's one around the corner hanging too and as you can see, it just looks like a normal house decorated for Halloween, which is why it doesn't really fit in with the rest. But it was one of the first things I got. I don't know what I was thinking. And they don't make ones that look like this anymore anyway. So, I don't know. Maybe it's a collector's item. But this is what it looks like lit up, just like a regular village house. Nothing really too special about it. So, let's move on to the next one. Alright, so next one up is Dead Men's Mine. The box is a little beat up, but don't let you that fool you. This one is another one of the original ones I got. I think I got this one in 2006 or 2007, and it is Dead Man's Mine. So this is what Dead Man's Mine looks like not lit up. Zoom in a little so you can see some of the details on it. There's a little guy here hanging in the tree. It says Danger Blasting Zone, and then it says Dead Man's Mine. And this is what it looks like lit up. next is one of my absolute favorites that I have. This is Hemlock's Nursery. It doesn't move or anything, but I just like the way it looks and the noises it makes. Plus, I've always liked Little Shop of Horrors, and it is very Little Shop of Horrors-esque. And the original retail on this one was $84.99. So here is what Hemlock's Nursery looks like not lit up, as you can see. Like I said, very Little Shop of Horrors-esque. sure this is the first piece that I ever got if not then the blood bank one would have been the first piece that I got but this is the monsters ball and this one is so big I honestly don't put it with the rest of my stuff I kind of set it off to the side in a different spot and you'll see why but this originally retailed for $69.99 now this was their big piece of whatever year this was so today it would have been well over a hundred dollars so like I said you can see how the price has gone up but let's see what it looks like okay so here is what the monsters ball looks like yes there's a mirror I know you can see me and my camera strap but this is what this looks like not lit up and it's a rather big piece, you can tell, compared to like the other ones, which is why I kind of sit it off to the side. It is one of my favorites, it just is huge. Hey, 
And this is what it looks like later on. Alright, let's move on to my newest piece that I got this year. So this is my latest piece. It is the Wasteland Pub. It is a Michaels exclusive. My mom got me this for this year. The original cost of it was $119.99. But I don't think she paid that much for it. I think she got it for half off and another percentage. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. I'm pretty excited because I haven't taken it out of the box yet. So excited to see what it looks like. All right, so this is what the Wasteland Pub looks like not lit up. Show you some of the details if I can get it to focus. It says, today's menu, fresh roadkill, rat kebabs, crispy tarantula, lizard soup, and roach stew. And there's a guy over here. So this is very Mad Max-esque. Let's see what it looks like lit up. This is really cool. I like it. Okay. So here's my Halloween village all set up. For today's video guys if you liked it give me a big old thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this subscribe i'll catch you later bye